Firstly, I want to say thanks to Xander for the recent Inda facelift. Playing on Inda is much better now. We can now fight on bases in the north that previously rarely got touched. This is really awesome. Sadly, Esmir is still broken and its rampant pits of death, farm fees, are what makes this map so infuriating, along with the unbalanced warp gate positions. This week I asked the community what they thought and this is what I gathered. Firstly, the warp gate positioning is odd and unfair, like with Indar where the north was barely fought on Esme, the southeastern and the northwestern are very hot and whoever spawns in the northwestern warp gate will have the most difficulty winning. Secondly, some bases need improving. Madison's needs Sunday protection. Um, if you want to take Madison's you basically need a Zergit and I don't think that is ideal for this game. We should be reducing the amount of bases that need to be Zerg to be taken. The biggest problem with the Sunday is basically you can be shot by tanks without any risk to the tank or any protection to the Sunday. I guess the easiest fix to this would be to have like garages and stuff or more of them or the next one is Cerro. It's I like the impact site with its C point being like way away from the base but the impact site actually has jump pads that you can get there quickly but Cerro doesn't have these. Cerro is also like a tower and these are some of the hardest bases in the game and while it has good positions to park and everything it's still a pain in the bum to fight. Personally, I think Sarah would be good if it had maybe an SEU. Maybe that would help because some of the bases, some of the other towers got SEUs added to them and that really made it a lot easier. The next one was uh, Watersons which I actually still call the Octagon, but Watersons needs more protection from tanks and air. Mostly from tanks. Air, air is annoying but tanks Oh, we really do get farmed like high explosive and heat rounds a lot. It's got these big walls surrounding it yet it doesn't stop anything and the nature of water sense has you like sitting in it with zerg tanks surrounding it and just be the farm you or they eventually push in. So like what is the point of the walls if they're not tall enough? Lastly, the biolabs are what slows down gameplay on Esme. You will eventually need to take a biolab to progress in the ladders. And if you're in the northwestern warp gate, you really have to almost take two biolabs to really have a chance. On Esme, they seem to not work well. It seems to actually make it really painful. And a lot of the time, if there's an alert on Esme, I just won't go. And I really like alerts, but it's not worth it sometimes. One idea would be to change biolabs with tech plants or amp stations. And I understand that you'd have to change all the side bases. I think that that could be easily possible. I know that taking away the tel teleporter rooms wouldn't be too difficult and replacing it with like a smaller building or um, uh, an eight point building or, or something. Um, I don't think it'd be too difficult. I think a lot of people were saying it's gonna be way too hard, but I think that'd be fine. Uh, if you switch to amp stations, it would probably make more sense, but tech plants would be nice because then we'd have like more heavy tanks running around on a big empty map. I understand the center tech plant is there for a reason, but those biolabs are just horrible. And the other option would be a lot harder to completely change the lattice so that all the warp gates are even, uh, so that the fight is basically Indar is pretty even now thanks to removing some of the really horrible bases where you can now actually progress and so uh, Daybreak, what you did on Indar really did help. Uh, it's nice. You know, it probably needs a little bit of work, touches here and there, but I like Indar for now. It's it's pretty nice. But Esmir really does need to be fixed. It's been a problem for a long time. Esmir's had a few repairs over the years, changes, and they helped. But Esmir's still a big broken map, and it's unfair to fight on. Hopefully you do fix this, but I hope it won't be a letdown like Nexus. RIP Nexus, three years later. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.